Yo guys, what's up? My name is Jack2505. This is the Hort House and welcome back to the Max Card series. Today we discuss the Brawlers cards which are all maxed out. In this series I plan to max out the cards in each class and demonstrate all cards, discuss the cards with you guys and share my favourite setups and I hope you will share your favourite card setups with me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch and join the Discord. Brawler is a melee class with burning abilities with, with its tackles, melee and with any weapon in the game so long as you can get that active reload. Brawler is an okay class in Horde but an amazing class in Escape. The Brawler has 20 cards available which includes burning cards, tackle cards, melee cards, health cards and cards which help the ultimate last longer. Now, we start with the school boost class, the common and epic class which increases the team score by 18 and 35%. You can use the epic score cards if you do the need of board running horde and if you're trying to get a high score and rank in escape. Haymaker, 215% damage on melee hits and drones are stunned for longer. Now, I'm not a big fan of the brawler's melee and I only use it in certain situations or if I'm being honest, in a panic. The Haymaker is, is a good card to stun enemies and execute them. However, I rather tackle the melee most of the time and I'm more of a fan of the regular melee. Thrash Brawl Pro, 60% less damage for melee attacks. Now, I don't know how I feel about this card. It's great against low tier enemies such as Juvies, but useless against the real threat such as Elite Drones and Silence. You still go down the same way. I would say not to use this card on any Master Horde or any Master Escape Hives. Broda has much better cards available. Glow and Slow. 60% speed reduction on burning enemies. This is one of my favourite cards with the Broda. Really good against big threats, mini bosses and bosses. Once you get the active reload to trigger the burn shots, very very good card for both Horde and Escape. Steam Engine, 115% burn radius during ultimate. I actually underestimated this card. This card makes killing enemies around you much easier and even if you miss them, you'll get a blaze of fire all around you burning enemies. Actually a good card when you combine it with certain cards that makes your ultimate last longer. Defensive Tackle, plus 60% stim on tackle kill. Very good card for escape on higher difficulties and for that extra layer of protection after tackling an enemy right after the kill to protect you from incoming fire. Extra steam for free. Damage dash. 40% damage resistance while sprinting. Another good card for escape. This card helps a lot when you're running towards enemies when they're shooting at you and when you're running away from enemies. The damage dash is very handy against accurate drones in escape. Torch Tackle. Tackle burns and deals 275% damage to burning enemies. I think this, this card is an absolute must in escape and is a very good card indeed. Extremely good against annoying juvies in escape. Drones, Scions and combat a lot of modifiers in escape when it's when it's basically linked to like poppers i think every brawler should have this card in escape i really like this card and when combined with certain cards you'd be taking care of crowds of enemies scorcher mastery 70 percent extra scorcher damage this card had a few problems when it was first introduced into the game, not doing enough damage, etc. Now it does suitable damage against most enemies. It's pretty good against wardens and low tier enemies and some silence as well with an extra 70% damage. I'll be honest, I just like using the Scorcher. It's a fun weapon to use. However, for the weapon to be effective, it needs a lot of help from other cards to bring out the full potential. Also, try and go for the active reload if possible, but be careful because it will damage you if you're too close. Pyromaniac, deal 100% extra burn damage. I never take this card off. I think it's so essential to all the builds that I have in Horde and Escape that give that extra burn damage from any source. I think this is a must card for the brawler in almost any build. 
Blade with Fire. 30% burn chance on active rounds. Another good, another very, very good card. Actually better in escape than most people think. It's handy to have a hammer burst or claw, then hit that active reload and burn drones and snipers from a distance when they hide behind cover. Even works well for snuff. Good card for horde as well, and hives that force you to get it, get behind cover what, rather than running around and tackling. It's another option for you to kill enemies in escape. Per cup. 60% increase max health and regeneration speed. Very good cards for the three times damage modifier in all dailies to, to basically help you stay alive and take some of those bullets. And from now on, if I use the brawler in a three times damage daily, I will be using this card a lot more often. In a fire. 35% resistance to damage when the train is available. This card in combination with per cup also helps in 3 times damage modifier daily. Make sure you select this card when you're sure you won't be using the ultimate that often, if not at all. It will help protect you against most enemy fire and but you'll still go down to explosives. Fuel tanks carry 120% extra scorcher ammo. This is probably not going to be most players' favorite card to use, but I like to use it so I'll practically never run out of scorcher ammo and burn big enemies all day long. And this goes well with the ammo regen perk as well. This isn't exactly a fundamental card to equip, it's just one that I like to use. Killing time. Extend the train by 2.25 seconds per kill during the ultimate this card in certain escape hives is really good every time you kill an enemy the timer gets extended so once you find a choke area of enemies coming at you make sure you pop that ultimate and start to attack them this is great against a mix of drones and scions who bunch up together burn boost Active reload with 60% extra damage on melee kill of a burning enemy. Now, I don't know what to say about this card. Um, I just couldn't find a scenario to make this card actually work. Also, there seems to be too many steps in order to get that 60% extra damage from, from an active reload. You might as well just use anything else in your arsenal to kill the enemy. If there's anyone in the comments that can describe their experience with this card, Please let me know. Burn and recharge. 6% faster recharge on the train for each burning enemy. This card is actually quite good. I didn't expect the card to be this good when, pa when paired up with the um, card Play With Fire. You keep burning enemies and you get your ultimate so quickly. It's, it's actually ridiculous how quick the ultimate recharges. Soothing Warmth. 275% health regeneration near burning enemies. Very good card in certain hives when you're dealing with explosive enemies and enemies that leave uh, poison puddles and enemies that bunch up together. Good card against poppers that have um, incendiary grenades attached to them so you can kill them and survive the fire that they leave behind. All the glory. Burning enemies explode on kill, dealing 30% HP in damage. This is a card that you will see most brawlers use in escape, and when combined with Torch Tackle, great for killing one enemy and taking out multiple enemies with basically one tackle. I think this card works better for enemies that you're tackling rather than shooting. Also combines well with Soothing Warmth as well, at times, this card can be annoying for your teammates because of the, the friendly fire and escape, but I think most people, most players can handle it because they know how useful this card is for the brawler. My go-to setup in Horde 1 to 50 Master with the brawler is Glow and Slow, Fuel Tanks, Play with Fire, Pyromaniac, Scorcher Mastery. And my escape go-to setup is All the Glory, Play with Fire, Torch Tackle, Pyromaniac, and damage dash. For certain hives, I will swap out damage dash for soothing warmth depending on the encounter and the modifiers in escape. 
Brawler is a class mainly built for escape, but can still be played in Horde, but in a non-aggressive setup. Uh, but to be honest, I use Brawler in escape, and I think this is where the class belongs. The Brawler is good in most hives. For the longest time, I'll just pick the border and just tackle everyone to death. It, it's such a good class for escape, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I hope you guys have enjoyed this maxed out card discussion and demonstration on the brawler. Let me know your card setup. Do you enjoy using the brawler? Have you maxed the cards out? Let me know in the comment section below. Now thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. My name is Jack2505, this is The Horde House and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.